J.J. Thompson was a British physicist who was very interested in cathode rays. He wanted to know what they were, what they were made of, and if they had a mass or a charge. In 1897, he did some really important research using cathode ray tubes. Through this research, he was able to conclude that cathode rays are composed of negatively charged particles. We know these particles as electrons. So J.J. Thompson can be credited with the discovery of the electron. A cathode ray tube is the forerunner of the television tube. It is a glass tube from which most of the air has been evacuated. When the two metal plates are connected to a high voltage source, the negatively charged plate, called the cathode, emits an invisible ray. The cathode ray is drawn to the positively charged plate, called the anode, where it passes through a hole and continues traveling to the other end of the tube. When the ray strikes the specially coated surface, the cathode ray produces a strong fluorescence or bright light. When an electric field is applied across the cathode ray tube, the cathode ray is attracted by the plate bearing positive charges. Therefore, a cathode ray must consist of negatively charged particles. We know these negatively charged particles as electrons. Okay, so we're here at BYU and I'm going to show you how a cathode ray tube works. So I have here a Tesla coil and I'm going to excite this metal here and it's going to emit electrons. And then this, is, this plate is coated with a phosphorescent material. So the electrons are going to make it emit some green light. And then this thing is an anode, it's positively charged. So it's going to attract the electrons. And then we're going to see what happens if we use a magnet on the ring. Okay, okay so I'm going to use the Tesla coil. And you can see the light that's being emitted. So now let's look at what happens when we put the magnet on. Okay, here we go. You can see the ray being attracted towards the magnet. 